Alrighty, welcome everyone. I'm Tia Boo, and I am back for more horrifying, panic-inducing family drama with a side of tennis. It's Hoshi I know Sora, and we're on episode 10. Last week, we had uh, a, a bit more of a deep dive into Now's family uh, issues and pain and awfulness and the results of it, which are a compulsion to lie, even when even when there's no reason to, and uh, some really strange decision-making around a, a little girl who thankfully ended up being safe. We also met, I f just forgot his name, I had it in my, on the tip of my tongue and now it's gone, um, blue-haired boy who has a family of soccer players, a father who seems to only respect, respect soccer players, and uh, smacked him into a wall and then tumbled his way down the stairs and landed real bad on his wrist, which is now fractured and in a cast and he is probably not going to be able to play tennis. So... We've got some conversations around that, but I'm expecting there's going to be a lot more fallout on that front, and uh, I'm interested to see what's going to happen next. I am also terrified, as usual, going into one of these episodes, because, ah! So let's go ahead and jump on in. I've got the episode of Hoshii up and ready to go. It's zero seconds. There will be two versions of this reaction. You can find a picture-in-picture -picture version with the video up there in the corner, linked in the description, and a timer-based version up on YouTube. If you want to do a synky thing and sync up your own copy of the episode with the timer-based version, you're welcome to do so. Just get it ready, because the beep-beep timer to count you down will be coming at you now. Not fun emation. But we'll see. Could be a really wholesome, lighthearted episode. Shit. Nope. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Just gotta win one. Yeah. Yeah. No. Oh. I was thinking, why doesn't he just? Yeah. Why don't we? Why don't we bring, we bring the manager in? Oh. All right, man. Cool. All right, responsibility. Oh. The the jumping thing. <laughs> oh, great. I can just feel my anxiety building. And <laughs> this show does horrible things to you. God damn. All right.
Sweet. Ah, you should go. Ah, damn. Okay. Their relationship is the most wholesome. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Yeah. It doesn't really work that way. Yeah. Familiarity is more important. It's just what I need for what? Mm, for for the boys. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay, now I'll try noodles. Give me. No. <laughs> just, just pocket noodles. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> of course, gotcha. Our housekeeper, eh? Hmm. Another school. I guess we should know who these people are. Are they the same voice actor? I think it is. That's weird. That's real weird. Cool. Mm-hmm. Really? His brother. Right, 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 right. Yeah, you've fallen far. Bye. Okay. Don't much like them, but all right. Oh. <laughs> Well, they're twins. <laughs> sure. Keep, keep telling yourself that, buddy. Yeah, you gotta, gotta grudge. Oh, it's a, it's a respect grudge. I like it. <laughs> cool. Hmm. Cool. Slice. Mm. 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 
Hmm. Hmm. Biological mother is looking for him or is dead? Ah, he's looking for him. Okay. But you're my mom. Well, we'll see. Oh, boy. Okay, we're going to be talking more about mothers. What? That was really, really... Ho. What the fuck is this relationship? Whoa. What? What? Hey. Dope. Yeah. Fuck it. Just put it up. What the fuck is up with that relationship? What does that mean if only Ryoma had stayed out of it? Oh. 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 Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, we've been working hard. We know. That's the deal. It sure is. <laughs> Narky. Yep. A tiny bit, yeah. 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 I sure will. <laughs> hmm? Hop against the twins, maybe? went by too fast can't worry about it yeah Today's lunch and animal feed. What a good kid. Hey! Go, Mitsue, go! Wherever you're going. There we go. Okay. All right. Hey, buddy. Noodles! Oh, or that. <laughs> nice. Seems like it. You've seen him play, right? Huh.
Ah, super doting. Real annoying. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. They seem they seem nice. Just a little a little overbearing, but but probably some of the best that we've seen. So that's nice. Cool. So we have a shot. We have a lot less of a shot. Whack. So satisfying. Nice. Nice. We're killing it. All right, all right, all right. All right. And something's going to fall the fuck apart. It. What did he notice? They're getting tired or he's favoring a leg or something? Or they were just feeling them out? Ow. Is he thinking about the mom thing? Oh. Okay, so he was favoring a leg. Shit. Whack it. Just 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 punch yourself. <laughs> That's the worst though. Alright, comes down to this. Final game, right? Oh, dude. He's taking some falls. What kind of what kind of material are they on? Like tennis court material? Fuck that shit. That'll tear you up. Mm. Mm. -hmm. Yeah, a bit of a limp there. <laughs> oh, press him for some info. Oh, nice. The bribe. <laughs>
<laughs> You're just sneaky. You sneaky bastard. Of course. Okay. That's super useful information, buddy. <laughs> Animal feed. That's what he meant. Okay, gotcha. Shut up. Try to win. Shut up. Try to win. You got this. I mean, yeah, it will be, but... But you still gotta... Gotta... Hard work and guts! Pep talk. His hand looks really weird. <laughs> Ooh, some odd plays. Yeah, but... Might as well. Cool. Let's go. Ooh. Cool. 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 Yeah, they're going to throw you off, yo. Uh huh. Sure. Yeah. The ED is starting. And there are three minutes left. Hey, it's like putting putting effort into something pays off. Wow. It's almost like it's a theme. <laughs> All right. Getting tired though. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah, oh, no. Ooh, that was a cool cut. Damn. We're going into the second verse of the ED song. Aren't we? I think so. Yeah. So, it all comes down to Maki and Toma. Hey, getting some respect. Mm. Love it. Aww. Aww. How much time is left? <sighs> Minute. Okay. <sighs> Just got to do it. Mm-hmm.
25 seconds. Okay, it doesn't seem like we're going to get destroyed. Yet. Okay. Oh, it's that guy. The big guy. Shit. Just a little smile. Okay. Oh. We're in the clear. Oh my god. Oh. Okay. Yeah, cool. Wow. Uh, weird episode. I, I've said it before, but like, often the tennis-focused episodes aren't my favorite part of, of this show. Um, they are speeding up the pace of the tennis segments with lots of these, these sort of quick still frames to just show each, each portion of a rally. That's kind of nice. Um, although there are also some times when, like, the show's been kind of impressive with some, some of its cuts. And there were a couple here near the end. But uh, in general, this episode felt a little bit faster paced than maybe they wanted it. it like, a little bit rushed in production, but just a tiny bit. Um... Okay, so I, I said at the beginning, family drama with a, a side of tennis, and this episode we kind of got the opposite. We had mostly tennis with a, a side of family drama, um, and uh, a lot of pleasant and positive things, like this moment where she gives him 10,000 yen, not really understanding what he might use it for, um, and like knowing that this family is... is right on the poverty line if not below it uh it's it's really cute it's it's really cool and it's even cooler when he gives it all back and that's that's nice he just takes what he needs so i think we get we get two sort of dark or weird or or strange things one is this conversation with toma's mother uh and it raises more questions than answers, really. And we're 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 associating these two storylines because they're both ab about about parents or or parentage. I mean, one one is relatively simple. Do you act? Do you want to meet your biological mother? It's a difficult question and one that that he can choose either way and and be fine. Um, there's the question of of maybe never knowing, and then there's the worry that. That maybe you won't see your own parents the same way, uh, your your real parents, the ones who have been raising you the same way, having met your biological parent. But it's also a chance to get answers, and for him, he's got this complex around not being wanted and this this guilt around it. So if he if he were able to get answers on that front, like why did you abandon me? Why why was I not wanted? And the answer is something like I was sixteen, and uh, the the guy who got me pregnant was fucking off. Then maybe it makes a lot of sense. Um, I don't know. We'll we'll see how he addresses this. It's it's definitely something that will be on his mind whether he wants to do this. But then this second thing we've got. Got a, a person who is wanted by his biological parents as well as his adopted parents, and his adopted parents seem wonderful. Um, and then we've got a, 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 a character who has a very strange relationship with his mother. And I don't, I don't understand what we're building to or what we're trying to explore here. I never wanted to be your mother if only Ryoma had stayed out of it. She seems to, to have a soft spot for Ryoma. Is she not his mother? Is she not his biological parent? I don't know. Like, I get stepmother vibes, but... Are he and Ryoma half-brothers? Is he a child from another woman? What... What the fuck is going on here? Then there's the way that he he looks at her and says directly uh, to you. Yeah. To you, my mother. There's also a real dick at, at one point in this that the, you know, saying that, that dad doesn't eat at home either because the food isn't good. Jesus. And this, I never wanted to be your mother if only Ryoma had stayed out of it. What the hell does that even 
I don't know what that means. There's there's not enough information to really speculate. I, I, I just don't know. I'm sure it'll click and make sense at some point once it's actually revealed, but for, for the moment, no clue. Just a, a really rough relationship with a parent. Shit. All right, and then we've got... She is going ahead and continuing to draw draw uh, different things. She is now drawing tennis boys. And uh, your drawings got worse. Ew, how lame. Cat Ninja Natsuko is dead. Some other shit. But she posts it anyway. That's kind of cool. I like that she posts it anyway. Don't really like the fact that, that people on the internet are assholes. But hey, they are. They can be. They're also great people out on the internet. It's not it's not all the same. And we get another we re up the stakes with the, the student council president coming out to talk to them. Now I'm confused about this moment as well. We see this, but we don't know what he's going in there for or why or what he's talking to the advisor about. I mean, it's important or we wouldn't see it, but it's also being withheld. It's information being withheld from us. Don't know why. It's a cool cut. I like the setup and payoff for the animal feed joke, and it's nice to meet, to meet a, a pair of parents that, while they're a little overboard, are generally nice and supportive of their child. It's kind of awesome. Uh, and then we, we get to see little bits and pieces of their hard work paying off. They've got the f first two games that we see are both really quite close. They both get to final games, and they're they're a competitive tennis team. They can they can do this. I mean, they're not going to win nationals this year, but they're doing all right. Now, this is just brilliant. I love this face that he, he makes here. It It's just perfect. Uh, animal feed. Beautiful. Yeah. Winning or losing, matter of luck. The journey is what matters. Cool. Man, there were some really significant impacts uh, in the in the other match when he was fallen over and fallen and fallen and fallen. Ugh, rough. I do wonder what the tennis court is made of. If it's standard tennis court material, because that shit sucks. Oh. I mean, it's usually, it's usually like painted uh, concrete and it's rough for texture. Scrape you up real bad. All right, an interesting episode. Uh, didn't get a knife through the heart, which is kind of nice. Um, but also we're focusing heavily on this tennis thing and uh, <laughs> this tennis thing, yeah. But we're building up to the, the the climax to the finale. I believe it's twelve or thirteen. I'm actually gonna check. Hoshii Mal. Episodes twelve. So two more two more weeks of Hoshii no Sora. I expect that. Next episode will be will be strongly dedicated to the match between uh, uh, Toma and Maki and this guy who we've who we've gone and done research on, um, and then I would expect the last episode to be like heavily heavily character focused. But we'll see. It could be a mix throughout both episodes. Who knows? In any case, looking forward to it. I I've been Tiabu. This has been Hoshii no Sora. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and I hope to catch you next week in the next one. Peace.